All right, so I know this is unusual, but we're just going to be able to watch two videos tonight um, just because these two systems are so related. Um, today we're going to be looking at capacity and weight in the customary system after having already looked at length. First things first, let's talk about what capacity actually means. Capacity is the amount that can be held in a container. So like the amount of um, water in a cup and so forth. So when we look at capacity, the smallest that we, the smallest unit in the customary system that we talk about is a fluid ounce, which we would abbreviate FLOZ. This is equivalent to about two tablespoons of water. Okay. After a fluid ounce, we get a cup, which is just a C, and that's just a small coffee cup or mug. Okay. Then after cup, we have a pint, um, which is about the size of a small ice cream container. So you can go to the grocery store and buy just a small pint of ice cream. After pint, we have quart. Oh, and I forgot the abbreviation for pint is PT. Quart is QT. Haha. Uh -huh. um, this is like a large measuring cup. Okay, and then lastly, the largest unit that we work with in customary for uh, capacity is the gallon, and that would be like a plastic milk jug. Some useful conversions for you to memorize and to remember is that eight fluid, eight fluid ounces is equal to one cup. Um, two cups is equal to a pint. Two pints is equal to a quart. And four quarts are equal to a gallon. Now let's just talk about weight for a little bit. Um, with weight, the smallest unit is also ounce, but it's not a fluid ounce, it's just an ounce. So this is just OZ, like we're going to the Oz. Um, a pencil is about one ounce. So if you lift, lift it up like a brand new pencil, um, its weight is about one ounce. From ounce, then we go into pound, which for whatever reason is abbreviated LB. And that would be the, a package of notebook paper. So at the beginning of the year, when you buy a package of loose leaf, that is about a pound. And then lastly, we have a ton, which is abbreviated with a capital T. And that's about the size of a small passenger car. Conversions here, 16 ounces is one pound, and 2,000 pounds is one ton. Now let's look at some applications for when we would convert between our different units. When I pick up a jug of orange juice, it says that it holds four pints. I want to know how many fluid ounces that is. Um, so depending on how you look at this, I'm going to look at this proportionally again. Um, because we're comparing pints to fluid ounces, I know that there are eight fluid ounces in one cup. Okay, um, But there are two cups to a pint. So I have to double the 8 and that makes it 16 fluid ounces for one pint. So that's really what we're going to look at. And I so if I have four pints, I want to know how many ounces that is. So basically I'm going to multiply each by 4. If I do 16 times 4, I get 64 fluid ounces. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and then try the next three on your own. If I buy 12 quarts of ice cream, how many gallons is that? A um, couple different ways you can look at it. I know there's four quarts to a gallon, so I can take my 12, 12 quarts and just divide it by four, in which case I would get three gallons. Or if I use the proportion, I know that um, four quarts is equal to one gallon. So if I have 12 quarts, I want to know how many gallons that is. So four times three, one times three, it would still be three gallons. 
An adult male elephant weighs 11,000 pounds on average. We want to know how many tons this is. So one ton is 2,000 pounds. If they weigh 11,000 pounds, I want to know how many tons that is. So a couple different ways that we can look at this. Um, we can do the division, we can do cross products. Um, 2 goes into 11,000, or 2,000 goes into 11,000, 5 and a half times, so 5, um, 5.5. Um, so it would be 1 times 5.5, so it would be about 5.5 or 5 and a half tons. Last question is, how many people at a banquet can be served 4 ounces of carrots from an 8-pound package? Now if you look at this, I would start with our 8 pounds. So 8 pounds, and we want to know how many ounces that is. So there's 16 ounces to a pound. So first, I can take 8 times 16, which would give us 128. So an 8-pound package is 128 ounces. Okay, but I want to know how many people can be served a four ounce portion of carrots. So now I'm going to take my 128 and I'm going to divide it by four. So four goes in 12 three times, 12 minus 12 is zero, four goes in eight twice. So I could serve 32 people. So just make sure you're really clear and you're reading the question and that you're answering the question that's actually being asked and not what you think it should be. Don't forget to leave a question about this video as well if you have one, um, and we will go through this later.